the hunt for clues about what brought down Air France Flight 447 is heating up. Let's go live to Paris and CBS News correspondent Mark Phillips. Mark, good morning. Good morning, Julie. Well, the search is int intensifying for evidence of what happened to the Air France plane, but it's being hampered by the weather, which is slowing down the arrival of crucial equipment, the kind needed to search the ocean depths. More and more search assets have been arriving at the crash site. The Brazilians say they now have 11 aircraft operating in the area and the first of their Navy ships is also on scene. And more wreckage has been found, including a 13-mile long fuel slick and a large piece of metal thought to be from the fuselage or tail section. The fact that debris has been found so spread out has led to further speculation that the plane may have broken up in mid-air. A Brazilian newspaper quoting from sources in the country's Air Force, says automatic data messages from the plane detailed a series of critical failures of its power, computer, and flight control systems. The best evidence of what happened is presumed to be lying on the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean in the plane's data recorders, the so-called black boxes. Some areas of the bottom here are almost three miles down. Searchers will be listening for the automated ping that the boxes give off, and that pinging is only designed to continue for about a month. The French ship, the Pourquoi Pas, the Why Not, with deep sea submersibles on board, is on its way to the area but may not arrive until next week. High seas are slowing it down. All tragedies of this sort, of course, are difficult to investigate, but this one really could not have happened in a worse place. The French are now saying that the deep-sea diving vessel that's on its way may not arrive for another week. Julie. Mark Phillips. Thank you, Mark. Joining us now is Mar Mary Schiavo, former Inspector General of the U.S. Department of Transportation. Good morning, Mary. Good morning. Do you think these black boxes will be found? Well, I do because I've worked on several crashes in the past where the black boxes were under uh, lots and lots of water in the ocean and the technology is uh, very good these days. You have the submersibles, you have submarines, and that signal can be heard between uh, 14,000 to 20,000 feet of water. So you make it sound like it won't be difficult once they get the proper equipment to start finding these the, is that accurate? Well, it will be difficult depending upon the conditions. Um, at this point, they're still um, you know, at the whim of Mother Nature. If the oceans are bad, if there's a lot of debris stirred up from the bottom of the ocean floor, if the conditions make it such that it's impossible to deploy the submersibles and other equipment, then it's a matter of time before the battery runs out. If these are found, what are the chances they'll be found intact where the information can be garnered from it? That's the biggest question of all. For example, on the two planes that went into the World Trade Center on September 11, those black boxes were destroyed by the heat and by the destructive forces of the crashes. Here the issue will be whether they survive the, what appears to be an in-flight breakup. If they did, then the data will be on the, on the black boxes. And if they are not found, what are the chances we'll ever know the answers to what, what happened on this flight? Well, in any crash, a lot of the answers are contained on things that are back in, on the ground at the maintenance base or in the weather radar. And here already uh, researchers and investigators are looking at what was the weather condition. It was extremely bad and they were in the height of a weather cell, a very bad storm cell. Issues were turned to why were they even there? Did the weather radar not reveal to them the situation? After all, there is a report that there was another Air France in 1996, another Air France plane in 1996 in the same area that hit uh, bad weather and had serious structural damage. They'll also be looking at those messages, those last messages from the plane, and I do think there will be an awful lot of data there that can give them the clue as to what went wrong. All right, Mary Schiavo, we will stay tuned. Thank you so much. Thank you.